okay so now let's move to the database translations so for the database we need the multiple tables right we need the language table where we will store all of the language then we need the one table we can say that this will be the items table right and then we need the other table who will manage this one right or we need the column inside we can also do this inside this table to make this more simpler so let's get started so here i'm going to uh, create the models with the migration because i need the models too right so here i'm going to first may uh, first create the language drop down uh, language model and its uh, migration so just type this php artisan make model and then model name would be the language hyphen m right so this will create the language model with the migration and yes it's completed and now i want to create the item stable okay so the model name would be singular so item and it will automatically create the items table right and then we need the translations table where we will store our this item translations into the translation table right we don't uh, we uh, we have one item which may have multiple or even one translation so we can't handle this into one table so we need another table where we will manage our items translations into the another table so i'm going to create a translations table so we just create the translation model uh, translation model and maybe in your case you have a uh, actual scenario where you are building these translations right now i'm shooting this for the educational purposes so i don't have much stuff here i have only translations maybe in your case you have multiple things like fruit translation vegetable translation or multiple translations so you can uh, add a prefix like fruit translation model vegetable translation model and so on things because in my previous project which i did this for my client who belong from the canada so i did this same fruit translation then it's migration fruits um, translation stable something like this and then vegetable translation and so on things right so basically this one is not the simple uh, translation series i'm also teaching you the professional practices which will help you in future right uh, let's clear this out and now i'm going to go here to the database migrations and the migration i'm going to use this so language and here i'm going to add uh, three columns language code so just enter this as a string string uh, code so code will represent the it's a en fr ar and so on things okay and then table and then second would handle its name so what's the language name english French and something like this and the third table would be the boolean right it's a boolean which will handle the rtl so what is the meaning of this rtl so basically rtl mean right to left sorry right to left so which are the language who start from the right to left like arabic it start from right to left right uh, in the same case urdu right to left and then same case uh, for the hindi okay and uh, for the other languages um, there would be a left to a, um, a rtl so i'm going to manage this using one so if the language contain the rtl functionality so i'm going to uh, use here default method so by default this would be the false so if i have i'm using this for the urdu so i will uh, turn this on i will pass the true otherwise this will be by default false okay fine save this one and then we need the item table which contain the item name so just type this string name of item right and then table description so this wouldn't be text uh, there wouldn't be string this would be the text because it will store the longer description so just type this description and you can also make this nullable too and let me also correct the spelling and then this item contain uh, primary keys 
first primary key would be the uh, <clears throat> okay fine so here you don't need to create the name and description here why because uh, if i create the name and item here and i will store the english here so what i will store here in the translation so i need same name and uh, description here too right so i don't want to create the redundant column i don't want to create the duplicate column right so that's why it's good to create only single id right here items i also don't need these timestamps too and then i want to create the for example i'm storing as a item as english so i want to store this in the translation as english if i'm storing french i will store this french here in the translations i will just create only uh, items here uh, here right and if i one item has so three language so i will just create it id here and then store this in the translations because item have translation if the english english has also a translation right so that's good practice even i don't know my client told me that i need to follow this one because somehow we are developers so we uh, experience the uh, same thing and then uh, later on we learn that we don't need to do this so that's why i'm sharing these best practices with you okay we also remove the timestamp here from the item table so you need to go to the item model and then you need to turn off these timestamp here public uh, time stamps equal false time stamps equal false okay time stamp maybe stamp or oh, i think it's the stamps okay so this would be false then uh, we wouldn't face any issue whenever we are saving something in the item otherwise it will throw that to created add and updated add don't have any value right okay so that's why i turned this off and this one contain name and description fine and then we also need a foreign key of uh, foreign key here foreign key of what foreign key of language just to add this here table foreign id right here and then foreign id would be uh, language language id then this would be the constraint on the language table so if you are following the laravel convention you don't need to mention the table name here right i'm following the laravel convention so we need another id which is item id so which item have this translation right so each, so each we have multiple translation so we will easily differentiate between uh, these um, uh, these foreign key for example we have foreign key so we can easily differentiate even we have 100 or 1000 uh, item translations okay item id and this would be constrained on the items table fine it's uh, there and now if i uh, run this out php artisan migrate uh, we already added the database connection in the second video so if you don't know we can add this so uh, uh, if you didn't do this so you can add this into your application so here we did this so let's get refresh and yes we got the translations table okay and uh, let me reload it here to also preview it here uh, translations table then items table and then language table right okay we have created those uh, tables here let me see the size it's getting bigger so i will uh, shoot the further stuff in the next video thank you